Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is Firebase and how we can use Firebase in a single page application. So if you are not familiar with what is Firebase, so Firebase is a cloud database which Google provides. So if you are familiar with the Android apps, so you can easily use the Firebase database for uh, Google cloud messaging. So let's say if you want to push a notification to your app from a web page or from some other source from the server side you can use firebase to fire that so whenever you fire a database event that will be pushed on to your android application via firebase so um, firebase is a cloud database which google provides so what we are going to see in this particular example is we are going to see how we can uh, sync the firebase with a web application so we are going to use this particular option where we are going to create a single page application using angular js uh, so we are going to see how we can pull the data from the firebase so whenever we update anything into the firebase database the web page will be automatically updated without having to refresh the database without having to refresh the web page so that is what we are going to see uh, so let's get started so in order to uh, work with firebase so you will have to install the firebase cli so i'll drop the link for the firebase cli in the link in the description below so i have always uh, i have already installed firebase here so the uh, firebase as a cli so if you see here firebase is the command so like how you have uh, clis for npm and bower so firebase also has a cli command line interface so you can use that to um, do some things around so for example these are the different helps or the commands which are available for firebase so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a, a firebase project so i'm going to say firebase in it so before uh, this boots up right so uh, you have to log into the Firebase console. So Firebase is a console. So console.firebase.google.com. So you have to log in there and create a new project. So I have already created a new project called Angular underscore uh, hyphen Firebase. Uh, so if you see here, this is the project. Okay, I have also uh, added an authentication to a email address and also I have created a database. So what I have done is I have created a um, database called Angular and inside that I have two objects okay so i have an angular firebase as a project and then i have something called angular as a database and internally i have two values okay so this i have created initially so you can add also add values here so you just say plus and then you can add values okay it's just straightforward to add values into the firebase database so if you see here uh, once i hit the firebase init option so it is just opening up the command line interface uh, this is just the logo with of firebase so what is it asking what firebase cli features do you want to set up so i want everything so i'm just saying proceed so you can host the database or you can even deploy the your application there so now what is it asking is select a default firebase project for this particular directory so i have already created this particular project right angular firebase so i want this particular database so i'm going to select that and then say enter then it is asking me what file should be used for database rules so i am asking you to create a new file called database.rules.json so it will be created automatically then it is it has automatically created the functions package uh, so it is asking me do you want to install the dependencies so i am going to say yes so this is going to just install the dependencies for the firebase so this will automatically be downloaded based on the package.json which uh, which is coming with the firebase so this firebase init is going to set up a project for us by default with all the required uh, dependencies installed automatically so this is by default if you see here it is doing a npm install of that particular package suggestion and it is getting all the dependencies okay so let this get com completed okay so the installation is completed if you see here there are lots of dependencies which uh, firebase has brought in okay now it is asking me what do you want to use as a public directory so i'm going to say app as my public directory so then it is asking configure a single page application yes so i want to configure a single page application with index.html so that is what i need so the installation is completed so if i see here these are the different folders which it has created app dot app is the folder which is which is having the index dot uh, HTML, then database rules.json, then firebase.json, then functions, functions is another folder. So I've opened uh, this particular folder. 
in the visual studio code if you see here this is the visual studio code so whatever we created now just got opened here so if you see the firebase json it has the hosting details over where is our public folder and what is the destination uh, same way for the index.html same way the database rules has got created so i have said that uh, give read permission for everybody so that is what is the difference uh, and this is the default index.html page which uh, which is being created by firebase okay so what i'll do is i'll just remove some content um, here so that we don't need these so these are some yeah i'll remove this and also this is not required i believe okay so what we have is a simple uh, index.html file so what we are going to do is we are going to create a javascript file for uh, integrating the angular the angular js so i'm going to create a app.js so i'm going to start writing a writing the angular class so i'm just saying angular dot module so let's name this module app and also what are all the dependencies for it so this is where we mentioned the firebase dependency so firebase is the dependency module which we are going to add to the uh, to our angular application so the next uh, thing is the controller so we need to register a controller so from the controller we can uh, get the data from the firebase database so i'm going to say firebase controller okay i'm, I'm going to use a particular object called firebase object okay so this is an object provided by firebase so there are lots of other objects uh, provided by firebase uh, this is one of the objects so we are going to use this particular object in this particular example okay so i'm going to close this guy okay now what we are going to do here is i'm going to create a uh, create something called an object okay and i'm going to assign the dollar fiber object and we need a reference to this particular object so what we are going to do is we are going to create a object called reference here we will do a firebase dot database dot child of angular so angular is the database which we have created if you see in the console we have created a database called angular so what we are doing here is we are using firebase to get the database and its child called angular so that is what we are getting here so this particular reference is got here and using that reference we are assigning whatever is there in the database to this particular object and this particular object we are going to use in the html page so this particular html page we need to now link this with the angular js so i'm going to say ng app so our application name is app our angular module name is app and our con controller name is so i'm going to do the ng controller directive firebase controller and i'm going to say use it as controller so here i'm going to do use a pre pre tag so that we can show whatever json this guy returns so i'm going to just print the object so controller dot object i'm going to say show it as a json so this is going to print the controller object which is there inside the controller so if you go to the angular application so you have a firebase controller and we are storing the firebase object results into the object container object in this controller so that is what we are using it in the index so that is it now we need to add the um, angular fire library so i have already uh, copy paste copied the uh, urls if you see here we need the angular js so i have uh, put 1.5.7 angular and i am using the 3.7.7 uh, firebase and also the angular fire module 2.3.0 so you can even use the npm install to install these modules or you can uh, directly use these urls like how i have used here okay and also finally we need to link our 
app.js file okay so what we have done is we have uh, integrated this particular index.html to the app.js angular application and we using the controller we are showing the object so inside the controller we are uh, pulling the data from the firebase database and showing it here okay that's it so now in order to start our test our application so what we can do is we can do a firebase so so firebase serve will start the firebase server locally in the port 5000 so this is going to start our uh, single page application which is pointed to the index.html into the 5000 port so let it bring the application so we can check uh, so using that index.html it is going to automatically pull the data from the firebase database so if you see here the server is listening at 5000 so let's go to the localhost 5000 so if i go to the 5000 so if i see here i am getting the control.object json so there is some problem so let's debug this so the controller is not getting injected properly so the angular app is not getting loaded properly let's see what is the problem so i have uh, i have not mentioned i have not if you see here i have not created the firebase or i have not initialized the firebase database so for that we need to go to the fire firebase console and if you go to the analytics analytics if you go to the overview so there is an option saying add firebase to your web application so we have to go here and copy this particular configuration so this is the configuration which we need to provide to firebase so that it will link to our application which is hosted there so i have created a login under my name and uh, we have a uh, uh, we have these api keys using which firebase will be accessing our application so i just saved this file so let me go ahead and restart this guy mm, so the firebase serve is running let's see once it is up we can uh, again try whether this has resolved our issue hopefully it should okay the server is up let me refresh the web page so it is saying firebase.database.child is not a function so i did a syntax mistake i think so firebase.database.child is that the right syntax hmm. so let's go to the documentation so this is where the documentation is there so you have lots of uh, functions firebase auth storage database so what i have done is i have used database so using the database I need to get the child information so I don't have anything mentioned here so let me open the app which I had already used so let's see what mistake I did so this is the app which I had used so okay I missed the reference function so we need to let me open the example which we were using so under the database we need to use the ref function so we need to say ref let's uh, restart the server again okay so firebase.database.ref then child angle off okay so the server is up let's go and check out okay so if you see here these are the data which is coming from the firebase console 
so if you see here the tech primers demo is one of the value which I had entered uh, let me go navigate and show you so if you see here this is one of the value so let's say if I'm modifying this particular value I don't think I can modify so let me add one more value under the angular so let's say test and I'm going to add test so if you see here this particular page I'm not going to refresh so let me pull this guy out uh, let me show in parallel right okay so what I'm doing is I'm going to show you how the single page application is getting updated without even having to refresh the page so you see here this is our web page and this is our console so I'm going to add the new value called test new name called test and value called value as test so if I do a click add if you see here immediately it this got added so I'll uh, show one more so test 2 I'll add test 2 if you see notice here this is this page is not getting refreshed or nothing is happening so I'm going to say add and immediately if you see here this is getting pushed so what Firebase is doing is Firebase is automatically pushing the value to the existing registered web application which is already running so this is how uh, Firebase pushes the data so if you are using any Android application or iOS application Firebase is very helpful when you are when you want to push data from the backend to all your applications which are registered to the Firebase database so it does out of the box so it is a cloud database which Google hosts so if you see here this is hosted by Google and uh, if you see from the URL this is from Google so whatever you push it to this particular database will be pushed to your web application or your uh, Android application or your iOS application automatically and you can show the data back to the UI so this is just a simple example of how you can push the data from the Firebase database to your UI but you can use it for any other functional purpose where you want to show any data from the database example your cab information or some, some something which is specific to your application okay so that's it for this particular video meet you again in another video thank you